Treat your ears. Recently, I haven't been doing as much speaker testing. I'm kind of snobby about my little near-field monitors, and for a while there, I was getting really burnt out reviewing speaker after speaker after speaker. But the thing about the current situation we find ourselves in, it might be nice to spruce up a living space and find some good solutions for bumping some better audio. And there's a whole new generation of portable audio solutions which feel fresh compared to what I was using before. Case in point, one of my favorite headphone brands, one more makes a little Bluetooth speaker, so we should give it a listen. But one more doesn't really mess around with product names. What is this product? It is a portable Bluetooth speaker. Great, the packaging shall convey that. Easy as pie. The speaker is bigger than I thought it was going to be looking at the press photos. I thought this would be like a smaller single driver, kind of like a, an ultimate ear style solution. The one more is flatter and broader than those little tube speakers, and fabric covered looks really nice, like a cousin, uh, maybe a relative, of a Google Home Mini. There's a built-in lanyard strap when you want to take this out on the go. And then we've got the row of controls and ports. A power button, a mic activation button, play, pause, and volume controls. Then a flap, which protects a USB-C port. I'm so happy to see USB-C. And a 3.5 millimeter aux input for those of you out there still using LG phones, I suppose. Like I mentioned recently on my Travolo review, I'm really happy to see more speakers supporting USB audio. You can also connect the one more directly to a computer using the USB cable. Shows up as an audio device and offers up the highest quality signal directly over a data cable. One more estimates around 12 hours of wireless playtime. I got pretty close to that on my first playthrough, just under 11 and a half hours. Broadcasting over Bluetooth 4.2 and streaming with AAC compression, I think that's perfectly fine for this class of product. And there are multiple pairing modes. You can pair with one speaker or link up with a pair of speakers, and then when using two speakers, you can choose between dual mono or proper left-right stereo, which is handy. You might want more total output, or you might want to better tune the playback to your space and to your ears. And it's nice to have options. One more makes some absolutely fantastic true wireless earbuds. Not surprising to see this kind of audio linking tech in their speakers too. Okay, the techie stuff is on point, but this is a speaker, or these are speakers so how do they sound? Pretty darn good. Even as a single mono speaker, this is a slightly different solution than most single woofer options. It's been a really popular design. Point one driver straight up and call it a 360 degree speaker. And it works great for these little room filling options. A one more is touting the same 360 degree vertical audio trick, but this saucer design has a little more hardware. A tiny little tweeter is on tap alongside the three inch woofer. And you can hear when parts of the speaker are partially covered. There are a lot of positive words to use here. Warm, lush. There's that rich decay of low frequency that just sort of rolls over you like a blanket, but that can dull some of the texture around guitars, distortion, some of the buzz of a saxophone or honk of a brass instrument. <laughs> One more has done a very good job of delivering the juicy stuff, but out of the box, there are times the mids feel rolled over, which is interesting. The woofer is rated to hit 70 Hertz, which isn't super thick. That's not sub bass, but one more touts a virtual bass processing technology, which can fill in more lows. It's that signal processing, which might be contributing to some of the times I worry about those mids. One example, just for the tone, listening to a piano control. Concerto. The room reverberation of the recording felt a bit more hyped up than I would have preferred. The nice thing is, it's a pretty easy solution to adjust. I fired up a modified smiley face EQ on my LG, a bit more of a roll off to the lows, just a bit of a lift to the low mids, another light peak for the upper mids, and that was the right tone for me. The hardware was responsive enough to deliver some fun color alongside some custom EQ tuning. And then you add a second speaker, and dag, yo, this stuff gets loud. This is a tremendous amount of power and output. One speaker at around 30% fills my gadget lab. Two speakers 
get twice as loud. I keep coming back to the word flexible. You know, options like this can fulfill a variety of uses. Audio on the go, a little bedroom speaker and a speaker phone, a dual speaker or stereo option for a larger living room area, an option to improve on computer audio. There's a lot you can do with these. And you get the sense that one more really did build this kit around the idea of using a pair of speakers. You know, not just in the design and the options, but one more will sell the pair for a bit of a savings. One speaker coming in at $99, two speakers ordered together at $149. Now, looking at options in the space, we're in really good territory. One more competing well against some of the premium options from JBL and Ultimate Ears. Now, those bigger than a bedroom options under $200. As a single speaker, I think we're in good shape against options like the UE Wonder Boom 2. A little bigger, not quite as water resistant, but a good battle of audio quality against travel features. One more is one of those brands. I was skeptical about some of the praise they were receiving when I first heard about them, but it's pretty clear why they've been building such a loyal fan base. Beautifully built solutions, a consistent focus on audio quality, a colorful and distinctive tuning, and recently getting much more aggressive about keeping pace on techie features. It's music to my ears. I really couldn't help that. I'm sorry. Terrible, terrible joke. I'll of course leave some links in the description where you can find more info on One More Products, maybe shop some of these puppies online, and down in the description, you'll probably find a coupon code you can use for any product in the One More store to save some cash if you're shopping some good audio. Might be worth checking out if you're shopping some speakers or headphones, some true wireless. I'm just saying, probably a pretty good deal. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these reviews, and subscribing to this channel. We spend so much time talking about the eye candy, the visuals, graphics, resolution, frame rate. We don't want to forget about treating your ears better too. Now, if you would like to help support the production of those conversations, there are those links and coupon codes down below. Or you might also consider joining the list of names scrolling by on your screen. That's a growing community of fun, like-minded tech pals, a huge resource for me as I'm planning future videos and reviews. They're super cool people, so I hope you check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams. And I will catch you all on the next review.